There are certain challenges you always face in transition period. Number one is uh, the hiring of a staff. After that process is over and you finally get your guys here, you know, you're so anxious to get your core values and, and your philosophy taught to the, to the kids that are here. But those eight mornings that we had in, in fourth quarter drills, we started establishing a work ethic. And, you know, our saying here is win the day and understanding that the only thing that we have equal with our opponents is time and making the most of the time that we have is, is something that our coaching staff harps on each and every day. And that led us up to spring ball, those, those fourth quarter workouts. And I thought the, uh, um, the transition there really picked up the pace of us getting to know each other, us understanding the expectations that were gonna be laid out for our young men. And uh, for the most part, you know, I think most of them bought in. Hey, 93. Why are you so nervous? Ooh. Don't be so nervous, Not man. Me, Let coach. it go, man. It's a blessing. Oh, yeah. It's a blessing. Don't even be a nervous. Don't, Jones, Jones gets tight now. You better stay away from him. Oh, he gets no. nervous now. Come oh, on, coach. No. Shoot me one, man. Why you catch the tip? Woo! Look. Look. Right there on the tip, Collins. See if you catch it on the tip, Collins. Yeah, hey, look here. Let me show you something. Come here. Do you know that it, this, the difference in this and that? In about a point seven seconds. Yeah. Defenders in this league, it matters. Yeah, okay, go get it. That's it. That's it. Hey, you just went one for one for 15 yards. One for one. One for one. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Hey, how are you blocking this over here? One two, right? One two. Hey, if it's not you, don't come. Hey, you don't let him bring you. If you know you're right, don't go with him. I think uh, defensively uh, they seem to adjust pretty well. Um, you know, the, the guys that were here before I think have, have experienced with, with some of Dave's stuff and, and, you know, defensively a lot of teams are very similar now. I'm sure we call it differently and we expect them to play at a little faster pace probably in practice. Well, you try to increase their knowledge and their skill level and uh, get them to have a great attitude. And I think that's what win the day actually means uh, to me, one of the things it means anyway, is uh, to take it one step at a time. And uh, we have to be able to build a foundation here, and we do that by installing our defense, you know, with a great attitude of really understanding what we're trying to do. A lot of people look at the uh, kids go out there and play on Saturday, but it's more than just lining up against the formation. There's a lot of checks that we make in our defense. I think the Lance Shard D is back in full effect. I mean, we got a we got a lot of guys that got to get to the ball, so we want to we want to get that swarm of guys just around the ball. Where you know, if, if somebody's you know, say the ball stone, we we see that as blood in the water, and we just all attacking. So I think they got they got the concept down very well, and just everybody going 100 100 miles per hour is what's gonna make the difference and be in that land shark D. I love it. <laughs> Our defense it is to relentlessly pursue the football and knock the ever crap out of the opponent. And during the spring, that's what we were doing. The defense learned the scheme. Not all of it, just ready to play. We, we got to learn a little bit more, but right now it's land shark D. We're everywhere, we're around the ball. That's what it's basically about. I can throw up a fin, I can do it right now, but uh, you know, we're getting to be where we want to have pride in our defense and we're trying to sell the land shark and what that means. And it, and it still comes back to, you know, doing things right. Great integrity, you know, uh, communication, togetherness, effort, discipline, fundamentals, and going out there and having fun. So we're building towards uh, having a land shark defense. Uh, we have progressed in a, in a good fashion, but there's times that we've had to slow down. I like to install the whole defense in the first five days. There's sometimes we would take the first day and uh, repeat it uh, two or three times before we went the fourth practice before we went to the second day. So it's been a uh, slower process, but that's not uncommon. Well, offensively, you know, offensive line struggled with it, but that's normal. Everywhere I've been and installed this, it's it's difficult, particularly if they hadn't played in it. And that'll be the last group that that really gets accustomed to playing at this pace uh, in our no huddle spread stuff. So. Uh, the receivers, I think, loved it, but are not accustomed to being in the type of shape that it takes to, to play this. Quarterbacks loved it, and we were just so thin at tailback. It was very hard to, to get, uh, you know, a, a good look at all those guys because we're just so thin there. Well, there's two parts to this offense. There's the, the tempo part, which is really the most important part uh, to learn right off the bat, and then there's the, the actual scheme. The actual scheme itself, 
are most of the plays are things that I've done before. Coach Freeze and I are old friends, and we've talked a lot of ball throughout the years. So that w was nothing. That was that was learned in the first day or so. The the difference is having it happen so fast and how you call plays at the line of scrimmage. And I can see that for the players, that's been the struggle that they've had because they've they haven't had to do that before. And, and uh, just the communication, the fact that we've got to get it into them fast, they've got to get it to the rest of the players fast, and we've got to get the ball snapped fast. Once they get that done, then it turns into a, a normal scheme that you know most of these guys have run. Some of these pass plays everybody in the country runs, it's just that we're getting it called a lot quicker than most teams. Well, I told the quarterbacks, anytime you have a new staff come in, you can start with a new slate or a clean slate. So I, I went in, I, I honestly did not watch any film from last year. I didn't want to see what they were doing wrong because as a quarterback coach you don't know what what their rules were what their reads were so i didn't want to come up with any preconceived notions over who did this right or wrong and and they really did have a clean slate and going into spring ball they, they've done a great job of battling so uh, I'm, I'm really excited about where we are right now i think it's a great advantage to have a quarterback battle uh, i think competition is always good and it uh, brings out the best in, in the people that are going to rise to it and perform in games and I expect that quarterback competition to go all the way into the season and, and see who leads our team the best. Well, beginning of spring, we started off with six, seven guys to go out, compete for the job. Then as spring went on, it ended up being a two-man two race, uh, which was kind of very intriguing to me to uh, just be competing with one guy since being at Ole Miss. And uh, I mean, quarterback battles have come natural to me. I mean, I've been kind of battling quarterbacks since since my days at West Virginia and the days of coming here. So it's something that comes natural to me and competing every day. That's something that I come here for and why, what I signed up to be a quarterback for. Yeah, I mean, it's the first time I've been in a quarterback race, but uh, you know, it's something fun. It's something that uh, you have to go out there and compete every day. You know, obviously, you you want to be playing. You don't want to be, you know, have, sitting on the sideline watching the game. Uh, it's fun. It's fun to have a little competition, and you know. Competition's only going to make you better. I knew Barry in high school. We're both from Tennessee, so uh, we were at a lot of camps and things together. Uh, you know, never really thought that we'd be competing against each other, but uh, you know, I, I like Barry a lot. Barry is a—he's a really athletic quarterback. He's going to make a lot of plays with his legs. So, you know, I, I have to use use my mind and, and my arm to you know make b bigger plays than he does. I mean, I think it's always a new, fresh affair uh, for all of us to have a new coaching staff come in and tell us that everything is open. That's what you want. You want competition. Like I said, that's what we all sign up for, for competition every single day. Even when coaches' names start, as you compete during the fall and you compete with that starter, and as a starter, you know there's someone behind you competing with you every day to get your job. So every day, either if say it's open or not, you're still competing every day. Well, you know, people always think that one guy's a runner, one's a thrower, but they really are similar. Uh, both of them are, have good heads, heads on their shoulder, which is crucial for our, our offense, or any offense for that matter, but especially ours because it has to happen so fast. They have to be able to process things fast. And both of them have done a great job with that. We had very few mental mistakes, which is the, what you really look for in the spring. Once you get that down, then you're able to start working on the, the different fundamentals of the throws and the reads and all those things. So I, I think they've both uh, processed that stuff very well. And the fact that they both can throw the ball, they both run the ball very well, which is a part of our offense. If people are, are trying to close too much on the running backs, then we'll pull it and keep it. So I, I really do think they're both fairly similar. Well, we divide our teams evenly. You know, we, we would take a, a one on this team and put another one on the other team and, and divide it evenly. And you're never sure how that's going to come off. It could look kind of ugly because you have kids lining up beside each other that are playing with each other that uh, probably haven't all spring. But I thought it went off as well as it could and it was pretty evenly matched. And I thought there were some explosive plays on both sides of the ball for both teams and ended up getting to overtime, which was a great ending for us.
we uh, we have a long way to go coming out of spring, headed to, toward fall, fall camp. And when I pass the baton over to Paul Jackson and his staff right now, that that is this is going to be the most critical stage for us this uh, eight week period that they have in June and July to get themselves prepared to to run the type of offense, type of defense that we run. And so much is going to be on Paul and his staff's shoulders to get them in physical condition and strength and, and flexibility. All the things that we need to improve on, you know, have been handed off to him. And we expect him to do a, a marvelous job getting them ready for us when we show up to go to camp in August. You know, I think we, we got an introduction into the offense, uh, how fast it's going to be. Um, but, you know, only getting about 50 percent of our install in. Uh, you know, we, we just got to be here in the summer watching film, get, getting all the, uh, getting every, the, the rest of the, the, the playbook down and, uh, you know, just keep working hard with Coach Jackson and, uh, you know, doing the, doing the right things. Most of all, going into fall, just be more disciplined and when the season comes, don't hurt ourselves. Just give it your all for 60 minutes and look at the score, scoreboard at the end and see what it says. Uh, we, we're going to demand a 100% great attitude and focus, you know, with this uh, summer training that we get with Paul Jackson, Coach Paul Jackson. And um, I think just putting in the extra work as a group, whether it's doing seven on sevens alone without the coaches because they won't, you know, they won't be able to be there or the linebackers going out there and doing the same drills we were doing in spring and just not stopping that constant, you know, motivation that we always have from the coaches. We got to keep that spirit up when they're not there so we can, you know, get better. It's not it's not gonna be on them to get us, but it's gonna be on us. So I think a lot of the extra work off outside of what they give us is what's gonna make the difference and getting us focused and ready for that fall camp. Well, the, the total goal was to get 15 days of great attitude and effort. Um, I, I really think that we got 14 of the 15, um, which is a good start. Um, you know, we have to start somewhere, and that has to start with uh, our attitude, which is how we talk to ourselves, what we believe about us, and giving great effort every single time we're on the field, and I think we, we accomplished that for the most part. Offensively, we got about 50% of our stuff in. Defensively, Dave feels like he got 75, 80% of their stuff in. Uh, was it perfect? No. Do we, I wish we had 15 more days? Yes. but. I do think that we got the most out of the 15 days that we were allowed. Uh, we still got a ways to go. Anytime you're installing a new offense, defense, special team philosophy, uh, I think that that transition period in the first spring is, is the, the hardest and takes the most time to, to get where you feel like you can function in your new systems. And you know, the, the four weeks we'll get in fall camp will be huge.